here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. The confrontation between the two sands had resulted in a complete draw as both were knocked out. Meanwhile, in a faraway place with the king named Yikami, he was sitting on his throne. Yidma, what has happened with the horsemen of the apocalypse? My lord, the four horsemen of the apocalypse are preparing to fight this battle. Understood. I think that with the four horsemen of the apocalypse will be enough to exterminate those two Saiyans in the Uzaru castle. Returning to the Saiyan castle, Goku abruptly had awakened. However, Goku's body was in terrible condition since he had taken his body to the limit. Master, your spiritual sea is still not completely healed. But little by little, we're adopting to the power of the Akari. Thank you for being by my side, Kenichi. If I didn't have you, it'd be impossible for me to withstand all that beastly power of my own. In, in a moment, an incredible tremor would make the whole place rumble. That's right, Broly's body was unleashing a power that was so extremely impressive. Goku was very seriously observing Broly, however, in his mind, he'd hear the voice of Kenichi. This is surprising. Apparently, Kareth has chosen this Saiyan as his carrier. Kareth? That's right, Master. Kareth is a beast like me, and likewise is a beast of Azari origin, and its power is incapable of multiplying the power of the bear by a thousand times. Goku would be very surprised by the words of Kenichi. At the precise moment, the entire universe began to be surrounded by spheres of energy, which this time were the color green, like Kareth, since the key of the legendary Saiyan was of this tonality. Ah! Spiritual beast release! Legendary Kareth Azoru! An incredible beast would appear throughout the castle, leaving everyone surprised. Long time no see in this world, but a being worthy of my power has appeared. Master Goku, let me out and talk with him. Of course, Kenichi! Spiritual beast release! At that moment, a large beast would stand in front of Kareth. Well, well. It seems that you, Kenichi, are also in this world. After such a long time, we meet again. This will be very interesting. However, at that very moment, both beasts would launch an overwhelming attack where nothing could be observed. Double spiritual beast annihilator! But what the hell did they just do? Did they want to destroy everything in their path? I can't believe it! The power of those beasts surpasses ours with ease! Don't let your guard down, because four beings of great power are in this place, and they want to wipe us all out. That's right. The murderous intent is unbelievable. At that moment, four subjects would appear in front of everyone, leaving Broly and Goku very surprised, since they would recognize one of them. However, the power that he gave off was unreal. Second moral commander, but how the hell are you still alive? Before that wretched war ended my life, I was able to create an energy clone being able to escape. But that doesn't explain how you now have that overwhelming power. The only thing you should know is that all this power is essentially to finish you off. In that moment, everyone is able to observe the four warriors in total. Who are you? We are the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and we have come for you cursed ones. Uh, cause, are you the four horsemen of the apocalypse? This is surprising. It's said that they've never been seen by anyone before. I don't believe anything they say, because if that guy was a follower of Moro, he wouldn't be able to be a horseman. I ended the life of the second rider, being able to take his place. You ended the life of a rider? I can't believe this. At that moment, the first horseman of the apocalypse would stand in front of everyone. I will take care of the legendary Saiyan, since I can feel how he is the most powerful one of this place. I will take care of the Goku Saiyan. You third and fourth horsemen, finish them all off. Leave no one alive, and a single insect should breathe. As you order, sir! At that moment, they all began the great battle, which was an advanced supreme level of omnipotence. All the sand of the castle, despite having a high power, were not able to finish the two of them off, including Yelki and Shallot, who were the only ones who were able to do a little in front of them. Damn it! If we don't do something, those bastards would take all our friends! This is no time for games! I don't care if my body explodes! No, Master! This time use me as a shield! 
This way you'll be able to do more to keep the Akari power for days, weeks, even months. My body is much more resistant to a beast. Kenichi appears and forms from me an invincible body, Beast Shield. Now, power activation, damn Akari! Goku's power would explode in a few moments, leaving everyone shocked. Master, you by possessing the body of the legendary Saiyan, you don't need to use me as a shield. But your energy reserves, if you need an empowering transformation, I will be that transformation. Karath appears and shapes me. A new state of God Saiyan. Broly man and beast in one. Broly's body hasn't changed at all. The only thing to notice was his incredible power, which was making the whole universe shudder. Or so they thought, since the power of both of them even reached Yakamai's castle. I can't believe it. The power of those insects is amazing. Sir, this is impressive. The power of those guys is from another dimension. I'm not able to feel the key, only the pressure that reaches this place. That's right, Yinma. The power is so much that it makes this whole place tremble. It seems that after all, it will be my turn to face them. Returning to the battle, the power of both was impressive, only their battles were even, since the other riders were destroying the entire castle of the Azorus, although their level of omnipotence was not low, only that the power of their enemies overwhelmed them. Kakarot, go and annihilate those two remaining horses. I'll take care of these two. Are you sure you could do it? That's right, I know I'm capable of stopping them for about five minutes, so don't take longer than that. I won't let you. But at that moment, Broly's power increased in an abnormal way, creating a big explosion which would leave them without vision for a few seconds. At that moment, Goku would move at a flashing speed, being able to hit both horsemen. Goku would not give them any time, and at that moment, he would use more power than his body could support. Master, don't overdo it. Remember that I'm a beast, but even if it's your shield, your body will take some damage. Don't worry, Kenichi, but I can't let them die. They helped us when we were on the verge of death, so I'll give my life for them. Goku, without giving them time, began to slaughter both riders. At that moment, Goku, with a powerful blow, would throw one of the riders to a thousand of kilometers, and at the precise moment, Goku would finish with the life of the rider who was alone. At the moment of returning the rider, which Goku had sent to fly, this one would be enraged. Bam! How dare you end my brother's life! Well, he was just a simple worm. He was not able to withstand a blow with 75% of all my power. Now you'll face me. I'll exter- The third horseman of the apocalypse was not able to finish his sentence, since at that moment Goku had pierced him with a great blow. <laughs> Goku at that moment, at a surprising speed, would return to where Broly was, observing how the second horseman was holding him. Well, the first and the most powerful of them was directing the last blow that would end the life of the same. Goku at that moment would arrive, putting himself in front of that great blow, managing to stop it dry. Insect, you took longer than five minutes. <laughs> Don't complain, I saved you. Goku would teleport and hit the second rider in the same way. You're my opponent, so I hope you're ready. The second horseman would communicate telepathically with the first horseman. The power of these guys has grown in an abnormal way. I don't think I'll be able to defeat him, and apparently you don't have enough power either. That's right, but we are the horses of the apocalypse. We have never left our victims alive. If we stay in this battle, we'll die. We don't have enough power to face them. Goku and Broly at that moment would launch into the attack, taking them both out of their thoughts. However, far away from that place, a guy would feel their power. Huh, four warriors of gigantic power facing each other. Poor them, they don't know what they'll be my food. That guy with the appearance of a child would begin to move through all the multiverses at an impressive speed, returning with the battle of the four warriors, Goku and Broly at every moment were cornering both riders, which were very badly wounded. Your time has come, and your second commander, this is the end of you! Die! You should have never messed with us. Now visit hell! Goku and Broly would launch a combined attack, which, if it touched them just a little, was able to reduce them to atoms since their power was so great that no one could stop it. However, everyone was surprised to see how their attacks had disappeared. What the hell? How are they able to disintegrate our attack? From all that smoke, curtain, a voice would resound. I'll not allow you to finish with my food. They, as well as you, will be part of me. Don't say stupid things, you're just a simple child. If you think I'm a child, why don't you attack me? 
Broly wanted to attack, however, his body refused to get close to this being. I don't understand the level of his power, but Master, don't attack him since his aura forms the aura of a Shinigami. Damn it! My body doesn't respond! Goku would create a small sphere of energy, cutting his leg a little bit. That's interesting, he managed to overcome fear with pain! Thank you for saving us, but now you're going to die, you bastard! The second horseman of the apocalypse would throw an energy sphere in his face. Now, if we can continue with the battle. I don't judge you. I didn't come to save you. I came to absorb all your power. Both riders were surprised and terrified when they realized that the guy had not received any damage. It's time. Goku and Broly, with all their power, launched themselves to prevent that guy from absorbing the horsemen. That's right, they knew that if he absorbed them, it would be the end of them all. We'll not allow you to absorb them, damn it! But at that moment, the guy named Neki with a great attack was able to send both Saiyans to fly full of wounds. Master, the only thing we could do is defuse the Akari with the Kaioken! I'll do whatever it takes! Master, what we could do is combine our legendary power. We'll do it, Karis! Both began to increase their powers, making all the multiverses tremble because of the power they were releasing. After so many millions of years, now I'll have a real battle. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video.